The boys in blue, huh? Kedda. Hello there. Everyone? Yes. We repeatedly asked you to leave. That's right. And I've already informed you that your access to the corporate property has been removed and you've been placed on administrative leave. <coughs> We're asking you to leave again for the last time. We will not be leaving. Okay, so with NYPD, I just want to let everyone know it's being recorded on body one camera. So you were asked to leave? Yeah. Listen, we'll let you walk out the door right now. It's not an issue if you want to go. If not, you're going to be arrested for trespass. Yeah, we're not willing to leave. Okay, A few moments later. Google arresting its own employees. All right, guys, so once again, we got to talk about the woke activists who have become emboldened, so emboldened that not only are they doing demonstrations in public where they are blocking highways and roads, but they're also trying to take on their own companies, right? Companies that they feel are contributing to the conflict between Israel and Hamas, okay? And they don't like that. And uh, some employees effed around and found out after trying to protest at their workplace google in this case and uh google was not having it because they have now fired employees about 28 employees that were involved in sit-in protests over their 1.2 billion dollar israel contract now again these google employees were arrested for trespassing and then the next day, they were fired. I think initially they were placed on administrative leave. But Google's like, nah, nah, nah. We're just going to get rid of them all together. You're fired. You're more trouble than you're worth. We don't really need you. And I really want to talk about this. But before we get into it, we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Virtual Shield. Can you imagine your cell phone company leaking your social security number? Well, that's what happened to 63,000 individuals who had their private data exposed during a recent data Breach. A rogue employee at a telecommunications company leaked private information like names, social security numbers, addresses, phone numbers, social security numbers, and other personal details. This is why I protect myself with today's sponsor, Virtual Shield, and I absolutely love them. Virtual Shield helps protect my private information from the prying eyes of cyber criminals, data mining companies tech giants, rogue ISPs, and more. It takes just two clicks to protect myself with Virtual Shield's VPN on any of my devices, which includes anonymous browsing, a strict no-log policy, military-grade encryption, unlimited bandwidth, unlimited devices, and built-in ad blocking. Thanks again to Virtual Shield for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to sign up today by visiting virtualshield.com BCP or simply clicking my link below in the description because every sign up gets 67% off and a 60-day risk-free trial. Yeah, I'm going well. It's getting kind of late. Yeah, mm -hmm. just a little bit ago, wanted to ask you, you know, yeah. To cooperate, you know, we've been placed on admin leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, we'd like to see if we can do this voluntarily, you know, so it's been a while. So can you do that for us and, um, you know, move forward in that space and then you can contact HR and go from there? Well, uh, well t could you get in contact with TK about this? No, I'm not, I, I can't talk about that. I'm just here yeah. what I spoke about earlier because if not, you know, We'll have to call law enforcement yeah. mm -hmm. and go in that space and um, understand. You know, get trespassed and all that. Yeah, yeah. We, we understand. Okay, just trying again. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys got to leave. You guys refusing to leave? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. You first end up. <laughs> the 
Guys, nothing warms my soul more than seeing woke activists get arrested, right? I mean, I'm just saying because, you know, these people don't really face consequences for their actions and the things they do, okay? They're agents of chaos for the most part. And, um, you know, seeing them actually face some types of consequences, again, is a good thing because ultimately at the end of the day, you can't do this. These people have become so entitled. I don't really understand why is it that most arrests don't go down like this like for example okay you saw how this went down okay uh they refused to leave even though they were told to leave they were placed on administrative leave uh they said no we're gonna stay and then the guy was like okay cool and then he went and got the cops the cops came in and said you guys refuse to leave they said yeah we refuse to leave all right get up <laughs> right we're arresting you you're done okay this is exactly how it should be handled when it comes to these individuals that block traffic okay oh you guys are blocking traffic and they say yeah and you refuse to leave yeah we refuse to leave all right cool well you're arrested right we're gonna arrest you right here on the spot and every single last one of them should be arrested okay not just the ringleader but all of them all of them okay that's how it should go down but, you know, unfortunately, it doesn't go down as efficiently as it went down when it comes to this interaction. But that's what I try to tell you guys. OK, when well, you got companies handling stuff like this, they're efficient about it. Right. They're going to go in. They're going to do what they got to do. And that's it. Right. And, and there ain't going to be too much talking, too much negotiating. OK, it's going to be straight to the point. Right. Straight to the point. OK, I love to see it. But anyways. Um, yeah. So we're going to read about this because, again, this is something that is kind of a big deal. Uh, these protests are becoming more and more and more frequent. They're everywhere now. And again, Google is dealing with some internal backlash from the woke revolutionaries that they hired at their company. Uh, and, and now uh, these people are protesting uh, technology that they believe is contributing to what's happening with Israel and Hamas. This is something that has come up quite a bit. I'm a Google Cloud software engineer, and I refuse to build technology that powers genocide. Yeah, Google Cloud software yeah so notice how all of these individuals um you know they're they wear masks and stuff like that again that is an easy way to identify your political ideology nowadays. Okay, if you're still wearing a mask, you're most likely a leftist. Okay, don't get me wrong. I, I get some people are immunocompromised or whatever, but I'm just saying, right, for the most part, if you're wearing a mask, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you're a leftist. And if you're wearing a mask at one of these far left protests, then there's a 100% chance that you're a leftist. So let me read about this. Uh, Google has fired 28 employees over their participation in a 10-hour sit-in at the Search Giants offices in New York and Sunnyvale, California to protest the company's business ties with the Israel government, the Post has learned. The pro-Palestinian uh, staffers who wore traditional Arab uh, headscarves as they stormed and occupied the office of a top executive in California on Tuesday were terminated late Wednesday after an internal investigation. Google Vice President of Global Security, Chris Rakal, said in a company-wide memo, quote, they took over office spaces, displaced our property, and physically impeded the work for other Googlers. Rakal wrote in the memo obtained by the Post, their behavior was unacceptable, extremely disruptive, and made uh, co-workers feel threatened. Yeah, so, you know, this situation reminds me of what happened with Netflix and Dave Chappelle, okay? You remember how the Netflix employees... Uh, got so upset about Netflix platforming Dave Chappelle and his transphobic jokes. Now, Netflix attempted to coddle these individuals, but they didn't really capitulate to them because ultimately in the day, a company is about their bottom line, right? Netflix is about their bottom line, and Dave Chappelle was important, right, when it comes to their bottom line, okay? And I would make the argument that if it wasn't for Dave Chappelle, a lot of these employees that were upset wouldn't even be employed, right? You would you would not be able to employ a lot of these woke activists that get upset about what their companies do, okay, from a moral perspective. Um, you would not be able to hire these people and to pay them salaries if their companies weren't driven by the profit motive, right? So again, if Netflix didn't bring on people like Dave Chappelle or did not host Netflix specials with comedians that these woke activists disagree with politically, then they wouldn't be able to have a job. Same thing here.
okay? If Google wasn't taking his 1.2 billion, a billion would have be here from Israel, then how would you have a job, right? I'm just saying, like, are you going to make up that 1.2 billion? Where are you going to get that from, right? Because that's a lot of money to say, hey, you need to give up, right? You need to not take that money because of our moral stance, right? Because we say so because of our feelings. I'm just saying, I mean, that that's a very unreasonable ask. Just like it's unreasonable to ask Netflix not to platform somebody like Dave Chappelle when they can make $100 million off of Dave Chappelle. It doesn't make sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. And listen, here's, here's the thing. If you don't like it, you can quit. You can quit, which I guess technically that's what they decided to do when they decided to stage this protest and then get arrested. They probably knew that they were going to get fired, right? So this is probably their way of quitting. Now, again, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work in regards to these people getting jobs in the future because like I told you guys, um, if I'm an employer, I would scream for woke activism, right? If you're a woke activist, okay, um, you know, I'm probably not going to hire you. And the reason why is because of situations like this you're more trouble than you're worth you're probably at some point going to be a headache because you're going to let your political beliefs get in the way of your work okay and it's going to be a distraction it's going to be a distraction and i don't understand why these companies have to go through this in order to learn the hard way that hey you know hired all these woke activists at your companies it's probably not a good idea these people can't control themselves they can't keep their politics to themselves because their whole identity is based off their political beliefs so now it becomes hard to separate their political beliefs from their work okay because their whole life again is about their political beliefs and again that's not a good thing that does not work in the workplace okay it's not something that is advantageous but again you know hey it is what it is these companies sign up for it because they come out here and they woke virtue signal themselves about how they care about human rights and this left-wing social cause and social justice and all this crazy stuff that they actually really don't give a damn about. They are only saying it for money. So now all of a sudden you've hired all these people that align with your vision and now you're surprised Pikachu face when they are more trouble than they're worth. Okay. When they start protesting you, when they feel like you're not aligning with their moral values. You know, again, it, it really does say a lot about the current state of woke capitalism in this country. It really does. In New York, protesters had occupied the 10th floor of Google's offices in the Chelsea section of Manhattan as part of a protest that also extended to the company's offices in Seattle for what is called, quote, no tech for genocide day of action. Again, that G word, right? That G word. This is why I said people got to be careful about using the G word because it elicits a certain type of response. And this is why I, I'm careful not to really use it, okay, unless I am 100% sure of, you know, why I'm using it. Um, but now that word is essentially being thrown around like racism and anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. It's, it's being thrown around like that now, right? But again, that word it, it elicits a certain type of response. And that is why I'm very careful about using that word uh, to describe certain situations because, quite honestly, that type of word is only a word that you want to use when you know for certain that that is what it is, okay? You don't want to water down that word, and I'm afraid that the left-wing activists are watering down this this word, right? They, they really are. Quote, behavior like this has no place in our workplace, and we will not tolerate it, Raquel wrote it clearly violates multiple policies that all employees must adhere to, including our code of conduct and policy on harassment, discrimination, retaliation, standards of conduct, and workplace concerns. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that, right? I mean, you have a code of conduct at work that you have to follow, and if you don't follow it, then you're out. Now, here's the thing. Again, they could have did this protesting at City Hall. They could have went to D.C., okay? They could have, you know, did this at some place where, you know, the people that actually can do something about what's happening can do something right because this is a political issue now i understand these people saying that well google's technology is being used etc 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 well if that's the case then you might as well go uh protest at i don't know raytheon okay or halliburton or all of these defense contractors that also are contributing as well too i'm just saying i mean i think the biggest thing really is the politicians if you got a problem with it take it up with the politician take it up with joe biden right that that is what i would say uh, Raquel added that 
The company, quote, takes this extremely seriously and we will continue to apply our longstanding policies to take action against disruptive behavior up to and including termination. The fire staffers are affiliated with a group called No Tech for Apartheid, which has been critical of Google's response to the Israel Hamas war, a.k.a. they want everybody censored that they don't agree with. Right. They want everybody censored. They want Google to divest from Israel. OK, unless they get what they want, then this is what they do. They boohoo, whine and they throw a fit. The group had posted several videos and live streams of the protest on its ex account, including the exact moment that employees were issued final warnings and arrested by local police for trespassing. The protesters have demanded that Google pull out of a $1.2 billion Project Nimbus contract in which Google Cloud and Amazon Web Services provide cloud computing and artificial intelligence services for the Israeli government and military. Critics at the company raised concerns that the technology would be weaponized against Palestinians in Gaza. So they raised concerns. Now, they're not saying that for sure. If you don't know that for sure, right, I'm not sure why you would do something like this. Unless you know for certain that that's what's happening. The impacted workers blasted Google over the firings in a statement shared by No Tech for Part-Time spokesperson Jane Chung. Quote, this evening, Google indiscriminately fired 28 workers, including those among us who did not directly participate in yesterday's historic bi-coastal 10-hour city in protest, the workers said in the statement. Well, I mean, if you're a part of the ringleaders, right, if you are a part of it, if you help um you know start this then yeah i mean they're going to uh get you as well too this flagrant act of retaliation is a clear indication that google values its 1.2 billion contract with the genocidal israeli government and military more than its own workers the ones who create real value for executives and shareholders yeah i mean clearly and obviously that's the case okay unless you guys can prove that you can generate 1.2 billion in revenue then you know hey yeah, it is what it is. I mean, of course, they are going to value that money over you because you're not bringing in 1.2 billion. Okay, I mean, you might do some good work. Who knows, right? But you know, you're not bringing in 1.2 billion. So, uh, with that being said, you guys get the gist of this story. Um, you know, this is a cautionary tale about woke capitalism, where it leads to. A lot of these companies come out here and they do all this virtue signaling uh, for these people, and then <laughs> they want to act surprised and shocked when. Uh, these people turn on them, okay? Because inevitably, that's what's going to happen because these people are not tolerant, right? They're not tolerant of people that have different beliefs than them. So if these companies, who again, have profited from woke virtue signaling, if they don't live up to that woke virtue signaling uh, from the people that they're trying to uh, profit off of, then yeah, I mean, stuff like this happens. So hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.